Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse as a whole, really. So we're going to be talking about some new Flash stuff. We've got the first reveal of the new Season 6 suit. We're going to be breaking that down. Also, we've got some more Supergirl and Arrow teasers to go over. So I'm currently away right now. We're at Comic-Con, so if any of you guys are at Comic-Con, please be sure to try and spot me out. I will definitely be around a lot of the time, and... Obviously, I'll be all around the convention, but also, Saturday is the big day. We've got the Arrowverse panels. I will be there, so look out for upcoming content. Also, a few days after, I will upload the panel footage from those Arrowverse panels, so be on the lookout for that. But anyway, for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... Coming from Entertainment Weekly, we've got a bunch of new photo shoot photos, and this is pre Comic Con, so this was yesterday because Comic Con officially started today. And I have, in fact, watched the first episode of Batwoman. That review is either out before this or after, but it'll be on the same day, either way. So, without spoiling that, I would say 100% get ready for Batwoman. You're going to want to watch it. Okay, so let's talk about some of these photos because. You know, a bunch of them have been released, and we get our first look at all the characters together. This sort of teasers, crisis, what's happening, and the main thing from these photos to take away is some new suits. So Oliver's got a new suit, and Barry's got a new suit, and Supergirl is wearing the old suit in this photo shoot. So that's interesting, but it seems like this photo shoot was probably done weeks ago before the reveal of the new Supergirl suit so they weren't probably sure of what to do so they were like eh, not so sure about that so let's just stick with the old one but anyway so the main thing is to talk about the Flash's new suit so anyway here it is on the screen right now you can see what is new in this one and there's a bunch of photos we'll go through them but this one you can see there's bullets pointing at him and he's running and basically the suit is practically the same as the season 5 suit However, obviously his mask is off, he doesn't have a cow, but that is going to be rectified. This is only for a photo shoot, it's because they want to see Grant's face. That's the only reason why he's not going to go cowless this season, so don't worry about that. So, maybe it was of fear that the photos maybe don't look as good as, you know, when they release the trailer. I'm thinking that could be a possibility. But another possibility is more likely than not. They just want to see Grant's face in the photo shoot. But you can see there is just some new gold streaks of lightning. And these gold streaks continue on to some of the other photos. So you got another one here where he's running away. And so this is again from Entertainment Weekly. And basically, yeah, the suit's practically the same as before. But you can actually obviously see some significant small detail changes and that is mainly just adding more gold. This is another photo and he is again running away. You can see the additions of the gold within these photos. And so the last one is actually the cover for the Entertainment Weekly issue and I think this gives us properly our best look and also he did an interview and you know, I might include that at the end of the video, but it will definitely be linked in the description below. Doesn't really give anything too much away, and we'll talk about one of the interviews they did in just a sec, about one of Grant's quotes. But, the big thing is, obviously, this front cover is showcasing the suit once more, and I think this is the best example of what the suit's going to look like, and I'm looking forward to it. Apart from, I'm not sure as exactly how simple it is it seems really simple like the last season suit so maybe it'll look really cool with the lightning or maybe it's just going to be a bit you know the same old like the suit last season which wasn't very good if i'm totally honest i didn't really like it at all and so they had the problem with the cow and so they've you know not included the cow for these photos so that still remains a mystery obviously Grant has confirmed he's got a chin strap, but, you know, we haven't seen it yet. But anyway, so let's move on to talk about this little interview segment that Grant did with Entertainment Weekly. And so, this is how 
you know, the article went on and he gave a few hints as in regards to the villain, which is of most interest. Obviously, you can read the articles and there's a lot more than what I'm going to be going over, but... Okay, so Eric Wallace, the new showrunner, said if season 4 was a little bit more humour and season 5 was a little bit more spectacle in season 6, we'll have a little bit more heart. We want to deepen character emotions. Okay, so that is a little bit from him, from the showrunner. So that's exciting. It's going to be a little bit more heart. I think this sort of reminds of season 2. There was a lot of heart and emotion, especially towards the end to, to do with you know Barry's losses and things like that and so it allows them to actually not shy away from the big elephant in the room of Barry and Iris's daughter Nora's passing and so that is something that Barry and Iris must deal with in season six so I'm glad to hear that you know they are continuing on from that but as in regards to how everything's going to play into next season we're also finding out more about the crisis headline in the future newspaper and why that date changed in the season 5 finale if that date changed heading towards the crossover we're going to be dealing with Grant Gustin teased so apparently also this is another quote we've really found unique ways to make the season fresh that we never expected thanks to crisis this season really is divided up in a way that the episodes before the crossover are pre-crisis episodes and then the back half of the season is all about dealing with the fallout event of crisis. And so that's very interesting and that's to be expected and what we've sort of expected this whole time that, you know, everything's going to be leading to crisis and it's going to be a lot about the newspaper. So that's very good to hear that confirmation. But anyway, so in addition to Crisis, Barry and Team Flash will have a new big bad on their hands. And so they didn't reveal as to exactly who he is. The quote that was given is, He has not been name dropped on the show, but is from the comics. And he's a male as well. So that is really interesting. So he's not been name dropped on the show. So that means it's not Red Death, which is sad to me. But at least we've got Godspeed, fingers crossed Godspeed, stick around. But... Then I'm going to move on to the next quotes, and I think I figured out who it could be as the villain. So this is the quote. The emotional journey that the big bad is on mirrors the emotional journey that Barry Allen must face going into season six, says Eric Wallace, the showrunner. The big bad this season, if we can do our jobs right, will be the most personal villain the Flash has ever faced emotionally since Eobard Thorne, because this year's big bad is facing kind of the same circumstance Barry is going through is going to bring them closer together in a darker way than a villain that we've perhaps seen in the last few seasons. So talking about how they're going to be really close and they're going to have an emotional connection, the thing that pops to mind straight away and how the emotional journey is mirrored of what Barry's going through, obviously he's going through, you know, losing Nora and sort of being in that despair. I feel like this is Cobalt Blue, because in the comics, Cobalt Blue is the twin brother, the lost twin brother of Barry Allen, and he's actually a thorn, he's taken in by the thorns, and so that happens, and I think that would be a great idea, because Thorn, in the TV show, made Nora, you know, evaporate, made Nora get erased from her existence, and considering you know, he's going to play into crisis and everything like that. I think what Barry's going to be dealing with is the loss of Nora, mainly. So, I think if it is Cobalt Blue, that is very much so paralleled. And also, Cobalt Blue is, at times, a speedster. So, that's technically a speedster villain. So, I think people will be very happy if it turns out to be him. But that's just a theory for now. But, okay, so let's move on to the next photos. Let's talk about some Supergirl stuff. So we get this photo right here, and like I said, she's in her old costume, probably just because they did this a few weeks ago, like I said earlier, but yeah, so she's breaking chains like the Girl of Skill normally does, really love these photos, they very much so evoke the same sort of feel that they did with the old photos with mon -El. there's those specific ones, and it's really similar, so people have been pointing that okay so let's move on to the next photo probably my favorite photo we see 
And so as Supergirl, obviously, she's in her, you know, old costume, but also she's got the bangs and everything. I think this photo looks really cool. And so she's looking back in the sort of classic Supergirl pose. Got the red and blue lighting. Looks amazing. And yeah, so let's move on to the next Supergirl photo. And so the next one is this very one right here. She's got the cape, you know, she's holding it and she's just in a very Supergirl like stance. And so the final thing I want to talk about is in regards to the cover because the cover is amazing. I love this cover so much. And so this is again, you can get this with Entertainment Weekly and she did the interview as well. So that's either at the end of the video or that's gonna be in the link in the description below. And she's breaking the chains again and I don't know, it just looks so cool, I love this. I think the lighting is really good. So yeah, now let's move on to the last piece of information that I wanted to talk about today. And by the way, I'll have some videos out, you know, I'll have my Batwoman review out, you know, the same day as this is going out. But also, I've got a scheduled video coming in the next few days about some new Supergirl teasers that were released, you know, a few days ago. Also, on Saturday, I'm at all the panels, so it's going to be crazy, and I'll make the videos when I get back, and I'll upload them the very next day, so you guys can see it, because it's going to be too late to upload all the sort of trailer breakdowns and everything like that on that day, but yeah, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was that there is a new Supergirl series regular, and so it's been revealed that Andrea Brooks, who plays Eve on the show, is being upgraded to a series regular, and I talked about this on one of my videos recently as to some quotes to do with Eve that may be coming out in the next few days, or that was the video the other day, I can't really remember. But anyway, so he's, she's been upgraded to a series regular, that means she's going to be around a lot this season. So that means like, you know, either every episode or one every two episodes for sure, she's going to play a big role and so that's very exciting to hear. So she's going to play a big role in a different way that, you know, she had a big role in, in season four, but it's going to be very different for her. She's going to play into Leviathan a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos later this year. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.